Fishing is a way of life around the world and crucial to many economies. But a new report from the United Nations predicts an insecure future for fisheries under a worst-case climate scenario. This is a seminal report. There has never been a report of this nature. Global researchers collaborated to predict what climate change could do to fish stocks by the year 2100 under two models. One, if emissions go unchecked. The other, if net zero targets are reached by 2050. Under the high emissions scenario, global fish stocks could drop by at least 30 percent by the end of the century, compared to a low emissions scenario, which predicts a drop of 10 percent or less. And there are some countries where the impact is much larger than the average. It is actually, in some cases, up to 50 percent under high emissions for particular countries. So uh, it is very significant. Under the high emissions model, Canada could see an almost 17 percent decline by century's end. The U.S. could reach 19 percent, although projections are worse for Alaska at 33 and a half. Also, more importantly for fisheries, we'll see changes in the types of species that are within a region. Marine biologist Tyler Eddy worked on the report and says because fish go where temperatures suit them most, harvesters here could see changes in what and how much they catch. Waters off the coast of Nova Scotia and the Grand Banks off the coast of Newfoundland and Labrador warming more than the global average. So if we use Newfoundland for an example, uh, snow crab is kind of a colder affiliated species. So we're expecting to see the biomass of snow crab decrease in the future, whereas lobster typically likes warmer waters. So in the future, we might expect that the abundance of, of lobster would increase moving forward. Because some countries rely on fish not only for the economy, but for food, protecting them against climate change also means fighting food insecurity. Another reason the report says the world's carbon emissions course must be reversed. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Halifax.